everyday prices are too high. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. The bills add up. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes, prescription medication, the cost of food. A loaf of bread costs 50% more. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's a serious housing shortage. The price of housing has gone up. It's too difficult to build, and it's driving prices up. It is out of reach. The size of down payments have gone up as well. Costs are still too high. There's mu not much left at the end of the month, and prices are still too high. In a move that has sparked both outrage and laughter, Vice President Kamala Harris has revealed her latest economic agenda, and it's got some folks seeing red literally. Harris's plan has been accused of being suspiciously similar to communism. A new Twitter hashtag, communism, has taken social media by storm after a provocative article published by the New York Post accused Vice President Kamala Harris of pushing economic policies reminiscent of communism. The term communism emerged following a column in the Post that criticized Harris for advocating policies the author described as veering towards a government-controlled economy. The article pointed to her support for increased government spending on social programs, efforts to expand healthcare access, and proposed tax reforms aimed at higher income earners as evidence of her allegedly radical economic agenda. Critics argue this is just one step away from mandatory Karl Marx reading sessions and the abolition of private property. The hashtag quickly became a trending topic. Critics of Harris and her policies embraced communism as a catchy label to express their fears of perceived overreach by the government. It is evident that this administration wants to control everything, including our health care, our income, and even our lives. The article's comparison of Harris's policies to communism has reignited a broader debate in American politics about the role of government in the economy. While some view Harris's agenda as a necessary intervention to address economic inequality and social injustice, others see it as an overstep that could stifle economic freedom and growth. What's next? Is she going to replace the White House with a red square? As the hashtag continues to trend, it remains to be seen whether communism will become a lasting part of the political discourse or fade as a momentary social media phenomenon. What is clear, however, is that the debate over the future direction of U.S. economic policy is far from over, and the conversation around it is as heated as ever.